if you had a supercomputer, like uh, we had the best AI ever on it, right? And if you asked it, who out there definitely wants me to die, right? And you searched it and it showed you every person that definitely wants you to die. And that is a joke. Not as a joke, right? Not yeah. as a bit. Now, Not as a bit, yeah. one night you're out driving around on your Harley Davidson in the desert and you pull yep. into a gas station and you go for a wee and then standing next to you in the urinal is the guy that wants you dead but he hasn't noticed you yet, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He slips on piss, cracks his head on the sink and now he's passed out, right? So now you can time to the back of your Harley Davidson and drive drive him out into the woods. And now, what do you do? Right. So I've already made the decision to tie his feet to the back of my motorcycle and drag him like five miles. <laughs> yeah, but his uh, biker jacket is keeping him safe. Like, so his head's not like hitting. His head's not like. He's like, completely safe, and you're bringing him to the to the cabin. So he doesn't become like tomato soup yet. From no, dragging he's him. completely safe inside of his cool bike. So I've already jacket. made the decision to fucking kidnap the guy. Yes, because you know that he wants to kill you. He just hasn't noticed you yet, and he passed out. But Do how you... can I explain to anyone that I know he wants to you kill can't. me? You can't. Only your supercomputer knows that. So what? what's the... What, do I torture him is what you're asking? What do you do? Uh, At all. Is he awake? No. Yes. And by the way, you asked your computer, like, what does this guy want to do? Oh, he wants to, like, cut you up and he wants to, like, murder you and, and, like, torture you and cut your fingers off and cut your nose off, cut your ears off, cut your dick off and cut your ass cheeks off and your fingers and your toes and that, blind you. That Well, that is definitely is a good... So what I would do is probably... Well... what? So you're saying, I, I, am I allowed to do that back to him? Am I allowed to you do... You can do whatever the fuck you want. Uh... I would skin him alive. <laughs> And then wear his skin and become him. That's a cool power fantasy and all, but what would you actually then, really listen, do? Listen, I would skin him alive, and then I would wear his skin, and then say I'm that guy and ruin his life, and then put his skin back on. And he'd be like a big red meat guy, and he'd go, Why'd you do it to my skin? And I'd be, I'd be like, shut up, and I'd knock him out again, and I'd put the skin back on him. And then I'd send him back on his way, and then nobody would believe him that I, he, I wore his skin. Yeah, but he remembers. Well, that's why I take apart. I I I remove part of his brain. <laughs> you lobotomize him. I lobotomize him and then send him back out to the world. Okay. So See, Zach, I don't think that's a serious answer. I don't think you'd do that. You don't think I'd really skin the I guy alive? I don't think you'd really do that. Um. All right, then I would just chop his head off and and uh, kick it around. I think that's a very difficult question. I don't know what I'd do. Well, it's a hard hypothetical because I've already fucking kidnapped him, <laughs> and he's got like brain. I've already committed a crime. Like, there's a guy out there that you would 100% know for certain would kill you if he ran into you and had the jump on you. Exactly, so why have I taken him into my house where he's gonna wake up and instantly kill me? He's tied up, you tied him up. So I've tied- exactly, but if I let him go, he's definitely gonna kill me now. Exactly! Cause he wanted to kill me! What would you do? It's such a scary question. I'd fucking kill him then, I guess. You would kinda have to, but you don't want to. I know, I would, I would have to kill him cause I kidnapped him, but I didn't have to kidnap him. <laughs> if I saw the guy slip, I would just leave. <laughs> Because I've already kidnapped him, which means he's gonna kill- But I've... that means he's still out there, and you know he'd still kill you if you ran into him again. Would you say he would kill me? Does yes. he want to kill me? Yes, or he, he wants you or dead. Or he actually would kill me if he could. He, he would kill you, and he wants to kill you. Well, Zach thinks, Law, what would you do? Uh... I, I'd kill him, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus, you're yeah. psycho. Yeah, man. I mean, you you came up with this scenario. I'm just ordering from the menu. I just think it's a good hypothetical. What the fuck? What would you do? What would you do? I don't think this? there's really, like, realistically any way to know 100% that someone will kill you. If somebody is, like, actively threatening you, then they've made the threat, and if they had... If I look you know, at the God has, He's gone online and said, My super supercomputer is 100% accurate with its predictions. He's not lying. He's He's got his hand on a Bible but saying what, that. But what if the guy that made the computer hates this guy and is trying to do 40 chests to get me to kill his enemy by oh, making me think... Fucked. You know what I mean? That's a scary ending. Yeah, see? That's a good twist. That's a good Black Mirror episode. That's a really good Black... Hey, that... Charlie, whatever the fuck, don't Charlie steal Hebdo, that. Charlie Hebdo, fucking don't steal my idea. That's our idea, and it's worth a lot of money, so And I know you've it. already done Facebook Becomes Evil and Twitter Becomes Evil, but don't steal our good idea, okay, yeah. you fucking idiot? Yeah. Don't steal AI Becomes Evil. That's... Yeah, that's a new idea. <laughs> <laughs> Commenter, I want you to explain what you do, and I want you to start with would or wouldn't, and I want a big long paragraph of why. Yeah, that's that's, that's a, your homework. Yeah, and the 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 more votes one gets, the, the more reasonable we'll think yeah, it is. Exactly, and then we'll we'll come back with a really measured response. We'll steal the top comment. And just say it, and pretend like it's our idea, and then delete that comment. Also, like the video for would kill him, and dislike it for wouldn't. 
That's actually a good way to, to gauge that, that only we would see. <laughs> that way they don't know if we're, like, buckling the popular opinion or not, which we definitely would. I like this idea. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I could for totes eat a boig. Oh, yeah? I could totes eat a boig. Oh! <laughs> yeah, no, I'm hungry. Do you want to go somewhere, or do you just want to order something? There's a roach down in the garage on his back. We could eat that, yeah. Have to cut it up, though. Cut up the roach? Yeah. Into three portions? Yeah. And now, I, would you- would you split it evenly, or would you do, like, the Tom and Jerry thing, where you, like... You, like, try to take a bigger cut for yourself, and then- and then me and Zach would each divide it differently, and then we'd have a big fight. I feel like because- Are you talking about if Chris slipped out a urinal and hit his head? It's yeah. It's called Oni Place, so I would take half, and you guys would get a quarter. So, we're talking, like, Chris, uh, Chris slips on a urinal, hits his head, now he wants to kill you, and you know that. Yeah. And now, what would I do? Yeah. Well, I would skip alive. <laughs> Say goodbye to Frey. Can matched. we go back to we we all we went out to just get food right now. We thought of an update on oh, the, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. hypothetical. Do you want to say it, Chris? Do you want to propose? Well, I was asking our other friend at dinner, Jack, about the same hypothetical to see what he would say. Which, and then, by, by the way, just to refresh the hypothetical. The hypothetical was if you had a supercomputer that could definitely 100% like accurately tell you that there's a certain list of people out in the world that want to kill you if they run into you. Uh, so- so just to be clear, the computer is a it is accurate, there's no trick. It knows these people want to kill you, and it's given you a list, and right? It would, and they would kill you if- if, if they, they ran into you. If they ran into you. So the hypothetical was, if you were out in a gas station bathroom, and the, one of the killers walked up next to you, started pissing, and didn't right did they didn't see you yet, but they slipped and, and passed out on the ground, and you got to kidnap them and, and bring them, them up, and you tie them up and, and bring them, them back to your cabin. No, your wait, cabin. okay, just let let's take the <laughs> let's take that out of the equation. No, but that that was what Zach was getting to. That was that was what he, I was. He, was he, he found a way to fix it and make it better. <laughs> Which was just why I because I when you were asking it initially I thought you were gonna ask the guy who slips and hits his head, and it's like it's like a Breaking Bad like like Walter White Jane thing where it's like do you do you like tip his head away from the pee and let him drown in pee or do you let him live? <laughs> but then you said you like have a, like a, you cut his hands and feet off with a knife, then take him back to your cabin. Okay, the yeah. question is no longer what would you do. The question is how do we fix this hypothetical? You know what we're well, going I for. I still think my hypothetical works slightly better because Lyle, you you also said that uh, if they're just gonna die on their own, then that's not really a moral question on you. Really, right. you, you're, you're saving a murderer. Like, you probably still would do that, but you wouldn't because you know they're gonna kill. Yeah. Exactly. No, but, so but it, need, it needs to be a scenario where you we, have we, to actively kill them or you can leave them be. No, no, and you'll no, be or, fine. Just, or just, they're gonna die, do you save them? No, I wouldn't save them. I feel like that's exactly. too easy. Yeah, it's too easy. But, 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 but is it though? Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. They're laying there unconscious, but you can tilt their head and they choke on the pee like Jane. Like exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Jane. See, that's better. So you can kill them, but it's just tilting their head to the left. You're not like strangling them. Yeah, anything. honestly, I don't know why I included the whole cabin part. You could just do this all in the bathroom and leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, th I think you're, yeah, we, we need to decomplicate this scenario. I, th I guess so I was being you... slightly more realistic because if you did it in the bathroom, you get caught on security or get seen or so something. So would you tilt his head and make him choke on the pee? Um, like there's pee in his mouth, but then he's like laying on the side. But if you tilt his head all back, all and then see, he, if so, if, see, if this it, is her jumping on the pee. What the fuck was <laughs> happening? Whoa, that, that does look kind of cool, honestly. It does look kind of like my pee. Yeah, this is this is the last thing that they'll see before you drown them in pee. If you uh... see, I still don't know if I would or not. You I'd, wouldn't turn their head and drown them in pee? I'd feel too bad, but then also, as soon as I leave, I'd be, like, regretting it. I'd be like, God damn it, that guy's still out there, he's gonna kill me, he's a murderer. But then if I did it, I'd be like, what the hell, how am I supposed to know if the, if the AI was lying or not? Oh. I, I, that's, I, mean, that's, I that's, that's think the that's the biggest problem a... with the hypothetical is you said that the guy isn't lying, <laughs> but how do we know that? He could've been lying to you to, to trick you into killing. I, I don't know, you just- okay, okay, you have I, to really trust it, I don't know. Okay, what- what if instead of- cause this is also the problem, if, if you know a guy will kill you hypothetically- Okay, let, let's ch let's change it from a computer then. Let's say- let's say you meet this guy and he kills you, and then you wake up, like, five years earlier. 
Uh, so you know it's gonna happen. It's like you 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 live the exact same yes, day. Would, then you would, definitely yes. would. Then you definitely would. Or or what if you know he killed somebody else already? Let's say let's say. Well, there no, was a, then he's then he's already killing, and you know he's gonna kill you. Now no, he's no, like. No, no, no. I'm saying he, you don't know he's gonna kill you. Let's say he like tr like cut cut old one's face off and like made a nice <laughs> apple pie of it. And, like did a little jig and dance. Then like, I would. He then, danced yeah. like he danced like Pennywise on her Ooh, dead body. You're good. Thank you. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, so, so he's definitely already done it. He's like the old lady. That still makes it too easy. He's the old you lady hatchet then. killer. Okay, how about this? What if, uh, you accidentally hacked his cool email and, uh, he was sending emails to himself saying, I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm going to kill Zach Hadel. Uh, was there anything else in the emails that was of interest? Pictures of you with knives photoshopped in your heart and head. And he definitely made it? Uh, yeah, he signed it. So his Hotmail account has me dead on it. Yeah. But then again, he might just be a <laughs> who's just like taking it out on you, just be like, joking. healthily as a joke. <laughs> okay, but okay, okay, I-, I Yeah, just, like I'm when you talk about fucking Kevin, Kevin Smith's chest, that's not a real- would, which, which I would, by the way, which, which I think is what <laughs> gave him- That's not a joke, the, I would do that. I would do that, and I think that's what gave him the panic attack, by the way. I think you're right. So Chris, let's say same thing to you. Yeah. You hack his email, and there's 99 pictures of him photoshopping like a big, uh, uh, fire in the sky needle into your eye. <laughs> wait, wait, shh, shh, Frey's about to say something funny. I think I'd kill the guy. I don't like how quiet it is here. <laughs> okay. It's too quiet. Guys, I got a way to fix the hypothetical. What's- how do you fix it? You're out in your backyard, you're drinking Diet Fanta. Look, 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 look. Right, you look up, you see a green flash. A big meteor crashes in your backyard, killing your dog. And, uh, inside of the meteor, is this is this computer right? You're like hmm, and you bring it in, you put it on your kitchen table, and now you turn on the computer and you see you in real time, right? And now you can I would put immediately close it at that moment. No, you in real time, and then you put your hand on the mouse, and you can like you can scroll around and look around you in real time from different angles. You can zoom out into the world and fly around and look at things I would going assume on. I got fucking crazy already by this point. <laughs> I assume like dying or like in a like a daydream. No, but you're able to fly around the world in real time. You're able to go anywhere. You can type in France. Now you're in France, looking around. What's going on? You could say rewind by. Hmm. 10 seconds, and you can see what happened 10 seconds ago. Go into the future, 10 seconds, and you can see 10 seconds of the future, right? This thing is confirmed that it is absolutely accurate, and, uh, there's no reason to believe it's not. So it's like the computer from that show. By, yeah, by the show uh, Pewter, right. <laughs> yeah, pew yeah, Pewter. <laughs> Pewter. <laughs> Pewter. But, uh, yeah, you, you, you can ask it anything, and it always gets it right. You're like, what is 2 plus 2? It's like 4.1. You have a god like, oh computer. my god, that's amazing. You have a god computer. Yes. You got the god computer from the aliens and it works. So now you're like, you can ask it anything and you could say, does anyone out there want to kill me? And it's like, here is 42 people that definitely would kill you if given the chance. And, and what do I do? See, so what do I do with that knowledge? And you're, you're, like, what, you're like, what's the closest one? It's like, there is one 30 meters walking outside with their dog. <laughs> yeah. and you're like, oh my god! See, in this scenario, I'd assume the aliens want me to kill my neighbor and, like, lock me away. No, oh. but but you, you've had this computer for, like, let's say you've had it for 20 years now, and, and then you decide to ask you that question. And it's been accurate every time. It's been accurate for 20 fucking years. You've won millions of dollars with the lottery. You can trust this thing. Would I... No, because the person's walking their dog. If I run out to them... And now they slip on pee, bring back the pee... I think we're almost there. This is like one of those puzzles <laughs> where you're just like trying to. F <laughs> I I feel like it's it's very clear what we're trying to ask. Yes. And we just want you to think about it. Yes. Wait, Chris. Yes. You're outside drinking diet fanta. <laughs> uh, you're wipes wearing, chin. Yeah. You, you wipe your chin. You wipe the orange soda. Your hand is stained forever. And you're a hundred years old. That orange stain is still there. But okay. You're looking up at the stars cross-eyed. Huh. And. Uh, you see a big green flash, just like in your scenario. Whoa. And you get dematerialized and brought into the <laughs> into the orb. <laughs> and you wake up and aliens start dissecting you and like stabbing you with a million oh tools and they start god. pointing and laughing oh at you. Oh my god. And this they like they like open your mouth up and they like pull your tongue and like start stabbing <laughs> you with a big pen. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> then once it's jerking you off and sucking you up, oh, <laughs> and, you look oh. down, and you look down, and it feels better than any woman has ever felt in your whole life. <laughs> and literally, you go cross-eyed like dead accurate in Ghostbusters, 
and you shoot the biggest fucking load ever. But as you're getting sucked up, the aliens are going, ah, like what aliens like stabbing you in the chest with a pen all over you? And you're stab ripping your intestines open, like put, putting it back in, ripping, put, taking it out, putting it back in. Oh, stop. And once, so you're experiencing the worst, pl <laughs> the worst pain. Yeah, and pleasure. And pleasure at the same time. One's like dissecting your brain, and one's pr <laughs> like figuring your prostate. Okay. And then, and then one kicks you the balls, and then one kisses you and says, I love you, I love you. Right. And then they deep, they rematerialize you and put you back on Earth. <laughs> and you're cross-eyed again. Uh. It's been like one second, but it definitely really happened. Yeah. And you see the orange, you see the orb well, Get to off. the hypothetical. What would you do in that scenario? <laughs> it's over! <laughs> it happened! Would you ever get over that though? Or would you, would you, I don't know, I don't know how, how that works. But would you, like every time you tried to jack up or like have sex with a woman, you'd be limp because you'd just be thinking about the alien. Oh, I'd be like, nothing can relate to every, how good that every, was. You'd be closing your eyes thinking about the alien, like suck you up. And it got me addicted to like, uh, like you self harm. Yeah, you'd yeah. be like, you could only get up if an alien was sucking your dick while you could I would just like, I would keep going out into the desert and like shining lights up at the sky, hoping they'd come back down and get me You again. could also never tell anybody about that. Nobody could ever relate to you. I'm why, sure there's people on the internet people, that would. But I think you could you could tell anyone you want about I that. Mean, I mean, yeah, I, I could be like, Zach... You tell your parents. They wouldn't believe me. They, what, what do you- what would you think- what do you think your real parents would say if you told my them? My real parents? <laughs> As opposed to yeah, my not these other, other fake ones that you keep bringing around <laughs> to say, yeah, besides us. your fake uh, My parents, real Brazilian parents. You, the ones you hired on fiber to, to walk around your house and like, cradle you and lift you up. Yeah. Put you on their shoulder and spank you. Uh, I would tell my mom. She would be like, she she would she literally would just be like, I just no. That's nice, dear. No, she 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 would just be like, I oh, would you ever cop on? Would you, you ever what, stop? What if you were dead serious and you really meant it? She wouldn't believe me, but she'd probably just try to be nice. <laughs> she'd be supportive, roughly. I, I think I, she would just be like, she would just think I'm crazy. She'd be like, uh, oh, he's. He's talking about the aliens again. <laughs> so he's talking about the aliens ripping his guts out and sucking him off again. And I don't blame her. That's what yeah. I would do to my annoying son who said he saw aliens. If you went to Home Depot, you went to the pliers section, and her head, Frey's head was in there, and to test the pliers that you could pull her teeth out, <laughs> would you do it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, what if you're in a urinal with Frey, and then she fell, and she was choking on pee? <laughs> and... I got pliers. And you had a sawed-off <laughs> shotgun. I got a sawed-off saw. And you, and you can, a shot off shotgun. A shot off. You have a, sh a shot off song gun. <laughs> yeah, you have a, a gun that shoots songs. <laughs> shot off sun gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I would totally just turn her head into like raspberry pie, like. <laughs> raspberry pie.